Oh, okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste. Buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? A, Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader. Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. <laughs> Deep breeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. 
Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this monster. You have counted them. This is our No, it ain't. The tree say. He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the flark? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had? Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not in front. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting a flarkin' thing is looking like we need business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count contracts. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as her leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. I won't. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. Stop. 
Good to take turns, turns to extol your virtues amongst the sweet. Quietly. Quietly. Hey, birthday boy. I wonder if you can hear me. Is that you Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know that's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Ooh. Can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling Mom. out. Mom. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember. No, I just, I... You can't duck out. Okay, it's not that. It's... Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. There's been a lot of weirdos. I'll be careful, Ma. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- You were a problem, Peter. No. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday.
Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you sit outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Uh, no, that's okay. Then get a move on. Need to build up my calluses. How are you getting to the movie? Andy said his older brother would give us a ride. Make sure he brings you back, too. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just looking around, remembering things. Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Wish they could have been here too. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid. But it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing.
Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. As I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The mark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Okay, now we're definitely doing my plan. Seeing as Captain Space Cadet is off in the clouds and it's my skin. Fine! Tell me how to work this stupid tracker of yours. Are you serious? Guess we're going to find out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean, run. Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen a warrior's team, but I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. No, it's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. 
Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Come over near the cave and say that again. Good, Hellbeast! Let them hear your bestial howls! Louder, so that it echoes through this entire structure! <laughs> okay, okay. Don't wear out his voice before we get there. A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold! Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw this sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my queen. your Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you mean. Do not claim it for us, good. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Taratara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I say, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next up. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. Uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. 
You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, destroyer, what brings you to Saknaf Night? Peter Quill, show her the creature. When will it reach its big size? Big size? It is a baby, is it not? Oh, it's a baby, all right. Huge baby. Cries all the time. It ain't a freaking baby. It is a full-grown hell beast. It is not what I was expecting. Are you freaking kidding me? But I could be swayed. What is your asking price? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less? Twenty thousand? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like... 12? No. Nine, then. Uh, the creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am, Quill. Roots, not for sale. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! What the hell are you doing? Plan B, Quill. Guys, less talking, more escaping. Coming in hot. Quill, stop wasting time! Everyone look for a way out. We need to get off this thing. It ain't slowing down. Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. Coming in hot. We gotta cool its jets. We still need a way through. Peter, jump! All right, go. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without them. Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way out. 
You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You want to cut and run, or do you want to get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't even know where the vault is from here. All we gotta do is get back to that big tube with the elevators. What about the army of monsters? <laughs> we'll see where the real monster is. Our monsters are real monsters. Well, they ain't the only ones. Now, come on! We got company! About time! How can they even see through those helmets? Rookie move! Helmets mean blind spots! Bring your face! To the bone! The rodent was a poor choice for a boy! Don't get sour just because you lost the date! Not if I find her first! So she's pissed off! She ain't the first! There goes any repeat business! Maybe she'll forgive us! Maybe! Steal my rock! Man, she's got no shortage of hired guns! My blades will need resharpening! I'm pulling my weight. It is not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. Big tube, elevators, and there's the vault. Told you I knew what I was doing. 5,000 units to the Hellraiser who kills the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Nice work, Peter! This ball better be the mother of all payloads! She's rich! It'll be like a Satopia bank! Enough to pay the fine! 
This is really a plan, Rocket! For no, Rocket! Next time, try biting your tongue, Rocket! Like you'd have done any different if she patted your head! It'll blow a nice hole in the wall. The floor's weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. We're about to get minced. Do something! Service a hole more. Flattered, but no chance. Slow those things down, Peter! Help us out there, Groot. This will not be an honorable death! Squeeze in there, Rocket. We get it. I'm small, but I ain't that small. Hellbender would feed us to one of her monsters. Fork! Way too close! Follow them! Ah! Fight, cowards! Uh, guys! I think we walked right into a trap! Trap! No, she said trap. Everyone look for a way out! Quickly! Murderous eye! Return! Try to! When they collide... The floor's weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. Think you can squeeze in there, Rocket? We get it. I'm small, but I ain't that small. This has got Destroyer written all over it. She'll reduce it to rubble. You expect us to crawl through a sewer? I ain't getting wet again! I don't want to hear one word out of you! You all got a real funny way of saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. All right, nobody's perfect. Some of us served a mad titan, and some went a little nuts hunting him down. And some of us get a little touchy being called worthless. You are not worthless, Rocket. But he's clearly worth less to Hellbender. She says she would have bought Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue, or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife. Run. This way. Everybody, quiet. Come on. We'll cut them off at the vault. Perfect. It does not seem perfect. It means we're headed the right way. Just another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a knife from the big one. My gift is not for sale. The house pass still owes us 12,000 units. 12? How'd you get 12? As a measurement of my growing frustration. Well, take a deep breath, cuz we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Heads up! Ambush! Yeah! We're ambushing them! Peace out, Hellwood! Tear their heads off, Peter Quill! Brace yourself! No mercy! Get the point? This is exactly why we should have gone with Groot! Not my best choice, I get it! Reminds me of this current battle arena! 
Whatever you gotta tell yourself! I fucking told you people! I knew what I was doing! You were not sufficiently convincing! Getting out of here is gonna be a nightmare! It is not a nightmare. We are clearly awake! I am adding 50 units to the get programs! Yeah, yeah! I can't wait to see the look on Lady Lottie Da's face! Count yourself lucky if you don't! Peter Quill! <laughs> Dust in another duster way, freak! Do you think, Gamora? Feel this? Exactly. I shall break their bones! This is exactly why we should have gone with Groot! Not my best choice, I get it! These Hellboys are really putting up a fight! You'd almost think they don't like getting robbed! Guys, huddle up! Yo, Muscles! You blind or something? Me and Groot! I see perfectly well, Abomination, and you two are getting in the way of my victory! Us? You're the one screwing up our fun! Me and Groot stand a better chance of winning this on our own! Whoa, dudes! You guys are totally out of tune with each other. Because you're focusing on the wrong thing. Fun doesn't come from flying solo. It comes from shredding them up in perfect harmony, together. Who's with me? Today, I Can't am wait the destroyer. to take him down! Let me in! Getting out of here is gonna be a nightmare! It is not a nightmare. We are clearly awake! Okay, coast is clear. You're up, Rocket. Make it fast. Of course. There ain't a lock this side of Xandar, I can't find. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manis on. You can't rush genius. All Hellraisers to the main vault. Or I could try to hope for the best. Let's get to Close enough. 
Move your asses while you still got them! <laughs> Get in there, Groot! I am! Back door! See? Nothing. You! Gamora, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. I am Groot. He's a liability. Peter. Ha! Coming from the most wanted woman in the galaxy. Most deadly. Same thing. How about a thank you, Rocket? For nearly getting us killed? <sighs> for getting us into... The crappiest vault in the greater Magellanic Cloud? You said there'd be treasure! A Galeran skull is priceless. Worthless is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing... Marvin, fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover him. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot! Don't break anything! There's gotta be more than just junk in this skag heap. Pretty ain't priceless. They're just lights, and they look heavy as scut. Well, this is not nothing, but nowhere near what we owe. Units are like fur mites. If she keeps any in here, there's gotta be more. Here we go. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. Not such a bad plan, after all. All right, this will cover our fine, at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Peter Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet? Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. <laughs> Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Clintarian gas on such unworthy invaders. Do try not to melt all over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath, people! Anyone else feel burn it? We've got to jam those vents, or the gas will keep pouring in. Freeze the lethal gas vents, Peter Quill! I'm Groot. Groot's right. One of them lights has got to be plenty heavy. Frozen, Quill. We gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Hey, I found some more units. Are you seriously looking for money right now? <laughs> 